What's going on everybody? My name is Mark and welcome back uh, to House of the Dragon, to my reaction to it. Um, this is the last episode of the season, the season finale called The Black Queen, episode number 10. Um, last episode, Aegon um, was to be king uh, because Viserys died and Alicent thought that his last words meant that Aegon was supposed to be king, not Rhaenyra. That's how she took it, and she took it to the to the small council meeting, and most of them were supportive of it, of it obviously. Then, <coughs> excuse me. Then Aegon was missing, and uh, both uh, Eric and his brother. We're looking for Aegon because Eric was uh, like his sworn protector or something like that. So he kind of knew him and um, Sir Criston and Amond were looking for him as well. But they were both kind of competing almost because uh, the one, you know, uh, Amon and Sir Criston they were sent by Otto, I think, yeah, and Allison sent out Eric, or the other way around. Anyway, <laughs> it's been a while, okay? Um, so they were kind of competing who uh, who who got to uh, Egon first because everyone had their own plans, but um, yeah, in the end uh, they they found him. And he was very reluctant to, you know, go, get into the position of king. He didn't want it. And he he didn't think his father wanted that for him. Because, you know, he's been saying that he wanted Rhaenyra on the throne all this time. So, yeah, he was very reluctant. But when he saw that most people were supporting of it, he kind of, you know, started to embrace it a little bit. And during his crowning, Rhaenys showed up on her dragon, like on the dragon's back, and started killing a bunch of innocent people. And I thought she was gonna just burn, you know, Aegon and Alicent and all of them. But no, she just, uh, she just dipped. She just flew away. And I think the, the biggest thing that's gonna happen this episode is obviously Daemon and Rhaenyra are gonna find out I mean, first of all, that the king died, but that they crowned Aegon king, which it's going to cause quite a bit of problems, um, I think. So, yeah, I can't wait to get into it. I'm uh, rambling too long already. So without further ado, let's get into the episode. If you like my reaction, please leave a like. It really helps me out. And if you want to see me react to the next seasons of this show, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of those videos in the future. Other than that, I don't have anything else to say, so... Let's watch it. Winterfell. This is a uh, Dragonstone, I think. No, the table where uh, Daenerys and them were planning the war, and where Robert, no, Stannis was at as well. The Princess Rhaenys Targaryen. Thank you, Sir Laurent. Princess Rhaenys, might we hope for news of Lord Corlys's recovery? Viserys is dead. Damn, that's a bomb that just dropped. My cousin, your father, possessed a kind heart. And now comes the bad news. Wait, that wasn't the bad news? <laughs> Egon has been crowned as his successor. <laughs> oh no. Stress induced labor? Tor of a queen murdered my brother and stole his throne, and you could have burned them all for it. A war is like to be fought over this treachery, to be sure. I mean, she's here. Don't, don't put your anger on her. 
Hopefully it's not a miscarriage. What's going on? Oh no. It's probably a miscarriage, no? Baby's coming. Really? She doesn't look that pregnant, honestly. What was that? Are they fighting with real swords or... I mean, they must be blunt, no? Your grandsire, King Viserys, has passed. Viserys? The Greens have repudiated the succession and claimed the Iron Throne. What is this, the Greens, that they're talking about? I don't think I've heard that before this episode. Do you want to speak to the Maester, my friend? I don't think he wants to. I think he just wants to focus on the task at hand. I'm grateful for your long service to the Crown. So I'm presenting you with a choice. I'm a little worried for them. Well, doubtless it's gonna be a choice. It's probably gonna be an ultimatum. Either this or that. Know that you will die. Screaming. <laughs> is, uh, is her dragon, like, feeling her pain? Man. So agonizing to watch. Oh, I did not need to see that. Oh my god. She's just doing this all by herself. She's insane. Oh. Oh my god. Is it alive? No. It's not moving. Not making any sounds. It's a stillborn, no? Jesus Christ. Can't imagine, man. I have a fucking birth and a funeral on the same day. It's... Man. She didn't even change clothes or nothing. It's too sad, man. Why you gotta do this? I mean no harm, brothers. Who's this? Eric? Or his brother? Ride at her side and defend her name and honor. I hope to believe him. I don't think uh, he could have done this better. My queen. What a day. <laughs> you give birth, you bury your kid, and you get crowned queen. That's... Jesus. Imagine emotions that must go through her. Is she gonna bow? Rainies? No? Or maybe she doesn't have to because of her, like, title or something? That's how I, li how I light my candles too, by the way. The war room. That's super cool. We've never seen it being used this way before, have we? That's so awesome. We were near a Targaryen, the first of her name. Queen of the Andals and Rhoynar and the first men. Oh, this is a different different table. Alright. Maybe the other one has that ability too, but Lord Grover is fickle and easily swayed. He will need to be convinced of the strength of our position. And that we will support him should it come to war. I'm going to treat with him myself. Is that wise? He didn't really particularly like you, I believe. 
I've been directed to deliver her message only to Princess Rhaenyra. Where is the princess? Is that her? She's just, uh, showing up. Oh, nice. Kind of reminds me of when she did this back in the day. Otto was there as well. And Damon. And then there is Stark, Tully, Baratheon, houses that have also received and are at present considering generous terms from their king. Of course. <laughs> you you mean to buy them off? Since has not forgotten the love you once had for each other. Is that a page from a book that they were reading together? No blood need be spilled. The realm can carry on in peace. I mean, you declared war as soon as you crowned Aegon. King's Landing will have my answer on the morrow. Yeah, that could go either way. Again, the terms are pretty good. But, you know, you stole her position as queen, so... I doubt anything is going to be good enough. To defend the realm, not cast it headlong into war. But the enemy have declared war. What are you going to do about it? That's that's a good point. It's true. Like I said, they can declare war the moment they crown him king. Sarah shared it with me when he named me. Yo, chill out. My brother was a slave to his omens and portents. Anything to make his feckless reign appear to have purpose. Yo, Damon. Dreams didn't make us kings. Dragons did. He has a point too. But stop choking her. It's a dangerous thing he did. He could lose his hand for that. Or, or worse. He assaulted the queen. Hey, it's good to see him again. Lord Corliss. Been a while, man. That girl destroys everything she touches. That girl is holding the realm together at present. Every man standing round the painted table urges her to plunge the realm into war. Rhaenyra is the only one who's demonstrated restraint. Yeah. I doubt she would be like this back when she was younger, you know? Easy words for a lord who commands from the safety of his castle. Doesn't make it the lord of the tides! Crew. Lord Corlys Valarian. Nice. And his wife, the Princess Rhaenys Targaryen. Alright. Let's see what, what they're gonna decide here. Rhaenys seems to want to back Rhaenyra. Your father's realm was one of justice and honor. Our houses are bound by common blood and common cause. This high tower treason cannot stand. So, what are you going to do? You have the full support of our fleet and house. Nice. Your grace. Okay. Probably still not enough, but it'll help for sure. You honor me, Lord Corliss. But that does mean probably that she's definitely not going to consider Hightower's advice to bend the knee. If we're to have enough swords to surround King's Landing, we must first secure the support of Winterfell, the Eyrie, and Storm's End. Yeah. I'll prepare the ravens, Your Grace. We should bear those mysteries. Dragons can fly faster than ravens. Yeah, that's a good idea. Spoken like a true son of a Targaryen. You have Baratheon blood from your grandmother, Rhaenys. And Lord Boros is an eternally proud man. You'll be honored to host a prince of the realm. Man. Imagine the responsibility for such a young kid. <laughs> Not me, man. 
I would not do that <laughs> or be successful at it anyway. Whoa. Like just just before he used his fire breath, I could just see a glimpse of him. That was so well done. Emerging from the dark like that. Oh, that was a cool effect. Seeing the dragon's eye in his. Why is there a dragon here? Whose dragon is that? Prince Lucerius. Yeah, I think Vaymond was there in the. Yep. That was his dragon. The big bitch. Ah, uh, this is a problem. Wait! Oh, of course. I knew there was gonna be something. No. I want you to put out your eye. What? What is... Is that a glass eye that he has? Or I will take it, boss! Not in my hall! The boy came as an envoy. I'll not have blood shed beneath my roof. Well, thank God for that. Jesus. Where, where's, where's the big one? I forgot his name. Come on. Get out of there. I am so worried. I'm trying to look at the background to see if I see the big bitch, but... Yeah, they're focusing on this too long. There's some, something bad's gonna happen here. Vaymon is gonna come flying after him. Yep, I was oh, waiting for a shadow. Damn, it's so big. Yeah, that dragon is a problem. They may have 14 dragons, but... That one is uh, 10 dragons in one. I imagine Eryx is a little bit more nimble. But still. Yep, this is a good plan. Use your size to your advantage. What is he doing? Vagar, that was it. Ooh. That's nice. But why did it challenge Vagar? That was not very smart of Arex. Yep. Oh my... Well, that's death. Not just for Arex, but for Lucerius as well. Oh my god. It's kind of weird and he was so upset about that. Is she coming with the bad news that her son died, or...? How would he know? I mean, it must be. But... Again, how, how would he know? Would Vaymond have told him? Because he didn't mean to? Or maybe Baratheon said like, yeah, Vaymond went after him and then he went missing, or... Mm -hmm. 
Maybe they found pieces of the dragon. That's possible too, I guess. Is that gonna be the end? Oh my god. Jeez. We didn't resolve anything. How could they leave us like this? That was the season finale for House of the Dragon. Um, man. They just straight up killed Lucerys. And, you know, Rain Rhaenyra, she was very much trying not to start a war, you know, trying to keep the peace and just gain allies, try to do it the diplomatic way. But yeah, this this might send her over the, the edge, you know, and just start to burn cities. I don't know. I mean, King's Landing looks fine in the future, but, you know, this is like way in the past, so definitely possible that it gets burned down again. Um, I, I don't think they will go that route again, but yeah, I think she will be uh, starting to become a little bit more violent in her approach to this war. Um, we don't know what happened to Gisaris. I mean, I, I'm, I'm assuming it's not as bad because, you know, Feynman wasn't at Stark's place or at the Eyrie. But I'm curious. They, they, they did leave us with a bit of a cliffhanger here. Um, it didn't feel like anything was resolved. Like, it, it's just set up for the next season, I guess. It felt just like another episode to me, not just, uh, not like a big, like, season finale. If that makes sense. Not to uh, criticize it or anything. It's still, uh, it's a good cliffhanger. It just sucks that we have to wait now. But, I don't know. I feel like usually with Game of Thrones in the past, whenever a season ended, it did feel like, okay, they closed this chapter and now we're going to going into the next one. Um, and... I feel like they kind of closed the chapter with episode 9, you know, where they crowned Aegon. And now they started the first part of the new chapter, and then they just cut it off. You know what I mean? I hope I'm making sense. I, but I think that's the best way to explain it, you know? Like, let's say you uh, you have a book, and... You just can't, you know, stop reading the book, and then you fi finally finish it, and you're like, ah, oh, I can't go to sleep yet. I need to, I need to know what happens next. And then you start to read the first chapter of the of that next book, and then, like, okay, okay, now, we're, now I'm gonna go to sleep because it's getting too late. And that's kind of how it feels like, you know, like they already started the new book, um, where we're going into the war essentially. Um, but it's again, it's not a big criticism. I, I don't think like that makes the entire season or the entire episode just trash or anything. Uh, I'm just I I just found it an interesting stopping point. Um, I didn't write anything down. Basically, I, uh, the only thing I, I wrote down was Rainy's at Dragonstone. The rest of us just paying attention. But it's good that we uh, we got the support of the Sea Snake um, and that he's healthy. Glad I was glad to see him. I did enjoy his character. Um, Rainy, er, er, not Rainy, Rhaenyra losing a kid. That was hard to watch, man. Like I, I, I was present at the birth of my daughter, and I, I just can't imagine, imagine having a stillborn baby. That's, that's got to be one of the toughest, you know, things in life. You know, I think the the only thing that would beat more difficult was just to lose your kid at all you know like after a few years of even getting to know them and getting to love them even more but yeah that's uh that was hard to watch um not just because of the visuals but just the emotional level to it um but yeah it was uh it was a good season i am uh very happy that they are back you know with with good quality content, you know, because, you know, everyone knows the last two seasons at least, and some would argue even season six, wasn't, you know, the same level 
as what we've gotten in the past. And uh, I feel like with this uh, with this series, they really started out very well. I will say I do enjoy the Game of Thrones first season more, mostly because it didn't jump around in time. You know, I feel like that kind of takes away from the story, honestly. Um, and it's again, it's not a big criticism because I did still enjoy it. And I, you know, I, I get that they kind of want to get to a whole number of stories rather than just focus on like laying long seasons of groundwork. So I kind of get it. But in terms of storytelling, I feel like, you know, because of almost every episode we, we jumped a few years ahead or a few months ahead and you, you need to reorient yourself every time with every episode you need to re like establish where we are in time who is you know who is in relationships with who and oh did she have more kids and all you need to establish that every single time every single time and that kind of takes away from the story that they want to tell too because they have to establish all those things otherwise you'll be confused so that's the only criticism that I have for the show so far. Again, it's not a big thing because I did still enjoy it. But that is why I would prefer to watch Game of Thrones over this. I mean, maybe from this point on, you know, they're not going to jump around anymore. They're like, okay, we've established everything that we wanted to establish in the first season. And now we're just going to have a just a narrative, you know, that follows along a certain timeline i do hope that honestly um you know in between seasons it's kind of i i feel like you're almost like have a free pass you know skipping some time but again like in this in this season alone they jump, jumped like six or seven times they jumped into the future and I would I would have really liked to see some more with the uh, the other actress who played Rhaenyra, and maybe like have that the first season and then the next season switch actresses and have that time jump that they did. Um, I don't know though. Maybe you guys agree with me. Maybe not. Um, let me know in the comments. But that's again that's the only criticism that I have. Other than that. In terms of quality, it's superb. Uh, the writing is really good. The you know, acting, the casting, all the outfits, like I said in my previous videos, like are absolutely fantastic. I feel like that's even better than Game of Thrones. The CGI is is good enough. Like at certain points, I was like, okay, you can kind of tell that it's CGI, but it's a TV show, you know. I get that they have a budget. I get that they can make it look as good as the, as it would be in a movie or anything. So I don't. I, I'm not bothered by it at all. Um, so it's it's good enough. It's it's absolutely. It, it needs to. It does what it needs to do. Um, and uh, yeah, it. They really, really nailed it on the whole like scheming, plotting, and everyone is stabbing each other in the back. And I, you know, the, the thing that we as an audience enjoyed the most about game of thrones uh i mean the battles and all that are cool and we would love to see them but it's not what 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 made game of thrones great you know the battles are just a bonus you know the thing that would make make game of thrones great was the characters and everyone who was just plotting and scheming and serving their own purpose and everyone has their own agenda and, you know, that's what we enjoy and the, the dialogue between certain characters that lift the show up, you know. So I absolutely enjoyed that about this show. And again, I hope next season we don't have a too big of a time jump and we just have a straight narrative that just continues on the same timeline rather than skip ahead. Because I feel like... Otherwise, it would it does take away from the show because again, you need to establish everything again. Every episode, you have to establish where they are, what they're doing, who they like, who they dislike, all that, you know. So, yeah, I hope that's what we're going for in moving forward. I'm not hundred percent sure if this was based on a book. I think it was. 
or or that maybe George R. R. Martin just wrote the script for this or whatever. If it is written, you know, if, if it is adapted from one of his books, then um, I'm sure you guys already know kind of what's going to happen. But um, yeah, again, I really enjoyed this season so far. Uh, in terms of like favorite character, I would say... Ooh, who would be my favorite character? I am leaning toward Rhaenyra. But mostly like the younger actress. I I, I enjoyed the, the newer actress, don't get me wrong. But I don't know, there was just something about the other one, the younger one, that just her confidence level, like it was just... I've, she fit the character just so well and I, I think she, the, the other one d does a good job and she fits the new Rhaenyra better for sure um, how she's more passive and wise and all that but yeah other than that I do really enjoy Damon because he's kind of a loose you know canon um, same as Vaymond honestly like I, I hate Vaymond but I do think he is very enjoyable to watch. And I recognized him, by the way, from The Last Kingdom. He played that warrior monk guy. I don't know his name um, anymore. It's been a while since I watched that, but he played that. He had like this bowl cut, I think. And uh, he joined Utrecht, Utrecht's party, which is... A totally different role, so I, I'm really surprised by his uh, his role here. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna stop rambling, enjoying. Uh, I'm I'm definitely gonna, you know, look forward to the next season. I hope you guys uh, are gonna watch my reactions to that as well. And if you don't want to miss those videos coming in the future, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of them. I hope you guys like my reaction. If you did, please leave a like. And I hope you guys have a great day. Take care.